Hi, this is Christian Posta, Global Field CTO at Solo.io. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at how LLMD routes prompts to back-end LLM workloads based on the characteristics of both the prompt and the environment. So in this first example, what we're going to see is a very small prompt that comes in. And the environment that we have, we have two pre-fill workloads. We have two decode workloads and one workload that can handle both. And, and you can see when we start this scheduling process that we're going to check the length of the prompt and then we're going to fit, filter out the pods that can handle this particular prompt. And what we see is that um, because the work queue is zero, it scores better than some of the other workloads and decode dash two ends up getting this, um, this prompt. Now, what actually happens is this, this prompt, the LLM scheduler decided is not worth splitting and disaggregating the inference phases because it's not big enough. Now, if we take a look at a longer prompt, uh, maybe something higher than uh, the configured threshold, and we start scheduling this one, we can see that this one does trigger a prefill and decode operation. And in this case, what happens is the scheduler will pick a decode based on its score here um, with a work queue of zero and a uh, prefix match of 40%. It will score higher than the other available workloads, but then it will also score the prefill workloads because this prompt is large enough that we want to first run the prefill operation in a different workload and then run the, the decode. And this is um, specified, actually, you can see it here. The way that decode will hand off to prefill uh, is based on this, this header. So now if we try looking at a scenario of high load filtering, where we have a large prompt and a number of workloads that are above the thresholds of either KV cache or um, of, of Q, the waiting Q, then we should see that the, the filtering will try to find the lowest available um, Q depths. So let's start the scheduling process here. And we see we're going to check the prompt length. This does trigger a prefilm dis or a decode disaggregation and we find the queues uh, or the workloads with the, the shortest queues. The, like I said, this will trigger a disaggregation so that um, traffic will go to the decoder, uh, but the decoder will say, hey, um, go, go check with the prefiller first, get the, get the cache filled up. The, um, the last one we'll take a look at in this demo is the session affinity where if we pass in a uh, X session token into the header, then what we'll see is that that triggers a scoring, um, uh, a very high score for a particular uh, workload here, as we can see, because that's what the, that's what the header in the, in the session token indicates, that we are attached to a specific session running on a particular workload. So thanks for stopping by this demo. Uh, go take a look at LLM-D.ai for the LLMD project website and uh, reach out if you have any other questions. Thanks.